Good morning and welcome to Palm Sunday Worship at Trinity Church. Um, I hope everybody picked up their palm from the, by the um, bulletins this morning. During the first hymn, you are invited to come and um, lay your palm on the steps in the front of the church um, in honor of the day. Um, next Sunday is Easter Sunday and our worship service will be here at 10 o'clock in the morning. We also have a Monday Thursday communion service at 6 on Thursday. And for the Hale and the Hardy, if you would like to join me at 6 o'clock in the morning on Easter morning, I will be at um, Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills um, leading the sunrise worship service there. So if you would like to come on out, it will be wonderful. I think there's going to be some really special music and um, it should be a beautiful location to welcome Easter morning. Um, this morning we have a special treat. The choir is presenting a cantata this morning and I hope that you will enjoy it very much. Um, let us now enter into worship with song. <clears throat>
invite you to stand as you are able and join with me in the call to worship. The way has been prepared. For the crowds, it is the way of celebration. For Jesus, it is the way of completion. Amid shouts and waving palm branches, he comes into the holy city. Open your hearts this day to receive the Savior. We open wide our hearts and spirits to receive Jesus the Christ. For him is 88, all glory, laud, and honor.
one who rode into Jerusalem to cheering crowds knew that the cross awaited. In this way, we might know the great love of God for us. Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, has defeated sin forever. Hear the good news. God loves us and God forgives us. May the peace of Christ be with you all. Let us greet one another with peace. beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord and make straight paths for him. People came to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan, confessing their sins, and they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now, for it is proper for us to do this, to fulfill all righteousness. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water, and at that moment heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove 
and alighting upon him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. beside the Sea of Galilee. He saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. 
In all, Jesus called to his ministry twelve disciples. Following in faith, they walked beside him throughout his travels. They beheld miracles and wonders, and he began to teach them a new way. In time, nearly all would be martyred for their faith, through loneliness and rejection, persecution, and even unto death, they followed on, choosing Jesus over all.
Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. When Jesus saw the people, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. So he began leading them and teaching them many wonderful things. He said, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. began to draw great multitudes wherever he went. His reputation as a healer and teacher had grown throughout the land. After Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, the chief priests began to plot to kill him, for many of the Jews were believing in him. When Jesus and his chosen ones approached Jerusalem, 
Many gathered palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and blessed is the King of Israel.
Let us give thanks for this wonderful choir. Are there other joys and concerns that you would like to lift up in prayer this morning? Howard. A joy that we can worship in, uh, in peace. A joy that we may worship in peace. God in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Catherine, so I have two joyful announcements today. Uh, my son, uh, Gilbert, turned one uh, this week, and uh, Melody's son, Orion, also will, will, turn. will be turning one this coming week. So lots of joy. Um, lots of baby joy. <laughs> God in your mercy. Here are prayers. And there are others. Let us be at prayer. Oh Lord, we love a parade. We love the floats and the bands. We love to wave at those passing by. We remember the joy of candy thrown to the crowd and what could be better than balloons or ticker tape to celebrate a victory. What joy. And yet we know too well that parades can become mobs, that celebrations are interrupted by gunshots, that shouts of joy are replaced by screams of terror, that cries of Hosanna can turn into shouts of crucify. Oh Lord, we need you. Here are prayers for those who wait for the heroes and victors to arrive instead of joining the fight themselves. Here are prayers for those who cannot lift their voice because life or health has worn them down. Here are prayers for those who spoil the joy with their own agenda. Here are prayers for those who feel a burden of expectations they cannot meet. Here are prayers for those who just need a little peace and quiet. Here are prayers for those who wonder why everyone else has not yet joined the March for Justice. Here are prayers for those who have heard not yet wait a little longer. Here are prayers for those who cannot face the cross. Here are prayers for those who desperately need an empty tomb on Easter morning. Here are the prayers of our hearts that we lift to you now in the silence of this moment, prayers for ourselves, for our loved ones, for those we love, for those we need to love, for all the things we carry. Give us strength and courage, faith and hope to follow Jesus this holy week as we dine at tables, as we pray, as we walk, and even as we flee, remind us of your love that never fails. Oh Lord, we need you until that day when we might know the joy. Hold us in your heart, oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let us return our thanks to God by giving the gifts of our tithes and offerings.
Christ our Lord. Receive these gifts as the symbol of the dedication of our very selves to you, O God. Use our gifts and use us as a part of the kingdom of your kingdom, which comes and is still coming into our world today. Amen. You may be seated. Friends, this is the joyful feast of the kingdom of God. People will come from north, south, east, west to take a seat around this table and to break bread with one another. There are no barriers here. All are welcome. We put their trust and faith in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. May the God of Hosannas be with you. May the God of this holy week be with you. Lift your broken hearts to our God who will fill them with hope in these days. Remember to sing laments during this holy time. We do so that we may know the reason for glad songs of joy. Morning by morning, creation's voices join in praising you, God of every goodness. The forests form a festal procession. The heavens reflect your glory's light. Though we were formed by you, we looked around at everything sin and death had to offer and followed them through the world, thinking they could protect us. You gave us prophets and tongues of teachers to comfort our weariness and teach us the way back to you. But we turned our back on them. When judgment did not lead to redemption, you sent Jesus to reach out in love, to bring us home to you. So with those who spread cloaks before you and those who are sustained by your love, we join our voices singing, Holy, 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 Holy God, 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 God of enduring God. love, from, from every part of creation come, come glad songs. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in humility and hope. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, sustainer of the weary, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your love become human. He emptied himself of glory to be filled with our broken hopes and hearts. He chose the path of suffering and love so that we could run through the streets of the kingdom waving branches of joy. He walked the sin-cold stones into the tomb which could not hold him so we could join our voices together Hosanna, Hosanna, he is risen. As we journey through Jerusalem and beyond, as we struggle with death, loss, and grief, we would ponder that mystery we call faith. And in trust, trust Christ, Christ died. died. In, in joy, Christ, Christ was raised, raised to new life. In, in hope, hope, Christ will come again. again. Here at the table, graced with creation's gifts, we discover the world you intend. Here where you your love enlivens the bread and the cup. We are given more than enough of everything we need. Sharing deeply in the spirit, we can give hope its wings as it carries us to serve the broken all around us. Strengthened by the grace with which you feed us, we can join together to sustain the weary of the world. And when the gates of joy have been opened to us, we will spend moment by moment, every knee in creation bending, singing our praises to you. God in community, holy in one, together let us pray the prayer Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, day our daily bread, and, and, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive, forgive our, our debtors. debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. On the night Jesus was arrested, he took a loaf of bread, he blessed it, he broke it, and said, This is my body broken for you. Every time you eat this bread, do this and remember me. He then took a cup and filled it with wine and said, This is the cup of the new covenant sealed in my blood. Every time you drink this, 
cup, do this and remember me. These are the gifts of God to and for the people of God. I invite you to join in this holy feast.
blood of Christ shed for you. Let us pray together. God of hope, we give you thanks for the blessing of our communion with you. May you guide us in faithfulness as we move through the Holy Week. From the upper room to the empty tomb, we seek to be where you are. Amen. Our closing hymn is 91, not number 9, 91. peace of God go with us all. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.